Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to switch between your AMD dedicated graphics card and your Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics card. Um, so basically this works with, I'm currently using a Samsung PC so it works with that. It should work for HP as well and I think Dell as well. But, but anyway, this is only if you have, you know, the AMD card and the Intel card. So what you want to do is, you should see if you, um, when you bought the computer that it pr you already had pre-installed the AMD Catalyst, which if you do, if you right click, you will see that it will say graphics properties and configure, configure switchable graphics. If this isn't the case, you should go on the AMD website and download the AMD Catalyst, the which is basically the driver. Um, so basically, once you get that, or if you have that, you want to right click on your desktop and you will go on to configure switchable graphics. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Mirror's Edge as an example. I'm going to be comparing what, um, I'm going to be basically proving that even though some games say don't detect the AMD graphics card, I'm going to prove that it does use the AMD graphics card, but it just doesn't tell you. But in order to um, in order to set um, a game to either use the AMD card or the Intel graphics card, you want to just go onto here where it says browse. Now you basically want to browse to what game. It's normally the shortcut or or a file. Um, so, for example, Dishonored or Bioshock Infinite. If I wanted Bioshock Infinite, I would just press open and you wait. As you can see, I've already set it to high performance, so that will use the AMD. Anything that says high performance will use the AMD. Now, to switch this, you want to click where it says high performance, or and it'll say power saving. Now, originally, when you open up, um, when you browse for a file, it will be on power saving already, because um, it saves battery, etc. But um, what you want to do is, just want to click on it to high performance or power saving, whatever one. But power saving is basically using your Intel card, and basically makes graphics for gaming terrible. Well, not terrible, but not that good to be honest. And if you want to. Um, and then just put it to high performance already on it, and then you just click apply here. Now, um, for Mirror's Edge, I am going to set it to power saving first, so we can see um, the difference. So I'm just going to apply. So now that it's on power saving, Mirror's Edge should be um, set to the Intel card. Now I'm just going now I'm just gonna run the game. Alright, so let's now see the performance using the Intel graphics card. Now I'm gonna set the settings to the highest so we can see the improvement in the AMD compared to the Intel. So I'm just gonna prove to you that about the settings at the moment. So if we go into options, as you can see there on the higher settings. Now if we just pick a mission. Alright, so let's now see the performance. Now the game actually takes quite long to load when you're using this graphics card. Which is a shame, but if you just let it load then it should be okay. Now as you can see already, it's really laggy, it's about 6 FPS. 
that's my frap, so I suppose maybe it will be about 10 without it. Now, I'll try playing, it's really difficult to play. So as you can see, it is incredibly difficult. And it's not much fun playing games like this, which is why some people have been a bit worried because they think that their AMD card's not working. But actually it just requires um, changing the settings on the catalyst. So, I'm going to quit the game now. And we're going to um, change it to the AMD settings. And all that requires is to turn on to high performance, which I'll show you now. Okay, so now I'm going to change it to high performance. So we go back to the Catalyst Control Center by right clicking. And you want to put it on high performance, just by clicking there. And now let's apply that. And now we go back onto the game. And because we've set it, As we set it to um, high performance, we'll be using the AMD card. So, this should boost performance by a long way. Now, as I said before, I'm going to be using the same settings, so we'll just go on settings now. As you can see, it's exactly the same settings as before. And I'm going to be playing exactly the same level. And I mean, I can always tell a performance boost in like the menu, the speed of it. But I mean, let's see the improvement in the actual game. I mean, the game actually loads quicker as well. Right. So now, as you can see, it's a lot smoother. I'm getting about, without fraps, I get about 40 FPS. And yeah, that's that's all it is, basically. You just have to switch the um, what performance mode you want, and it will use the graphics card you want. Um, so yeah, you don't have to worry about if your AMD card isn't being detected, because on games such as Skyrim, my AMD card's not um, detected when I go onto the option, but when I put it on high performance, it does use it. We just don't know. So, um, um, hopefully I helped, and hopefully it will work for you. It should work. But, um, yeah, just leave a like or a comment. Just, uh, if you've got any questions, or try and answer them to the best of my abilities. But once again, thanks a lot for watching and I hope I help.